So I'd like to introduce Brad and Diana, representatives of Fox Rothschild. Full disclosure, uh, Brad and my, uh, Brad's daughter and my son met as friends in first grade. That's how I met Brad, only to find out we were in the same fraternity at MIT five years apart. <laughs> Small world. Thank you, Peter. Um, what an impressive showing. Um, Fox Rothschild is really proud to be the, to be the founding sponsor of this event. Um, not only because of what it, what it means in general, but we have, a, we have a strong connection to MIT, Diana and I both being grads. Um, so some of you are familiar with Fox, uh, for those who aren't. We are a national firm. We have 950 attorneys, over 29 offices, uh, coast to coast. And we represent all sorts, all sizes of clients, from uh, on the large size to, to uh, emerging companies. And um, we, we, provide, we try to provide personalized um, representation, especially to emerging, emerging companies, which has, you have your own uh, special set of concerns. Um, we have, uh, we, we represent clients in all areas of the law that a company would need, from IP to real estate, immigration, uh, financing. Um, we really have representation across the board. Um, and uh, among one of the judges, I don't know if, uh, if you recall, Allison Newman is one of our partners in the ECBC group, which as we saw in the video is, uh, is quite extensive. Some of our ECBC partners are angel, um, angel investors themselves. So, uh, and then finally at Fox, we, we have MIT grads in management. I'm the, uh, the New York office managing partner. And I'll hand this to Diana to introduce herself. Hi, thanks, Brad. Hi, I'm Diana L. Hume. I'm a partner in the New York office. And I'm also the chair of the intellectual property department. Um, yeah, I went to MIT. That's where I got my undergrad. And so all of this talk of uh, science and innovation in a room full of women who are leaders is so inspiring. The department has about uh, over 70 attorneys who are dedicated to all aspects of IP, trademark, patent, copyright. We, as Brad said, talk with and handle clients uh, from individual inventors to Fortune 500 companies, universities, spin outs of universities, startups at all ages of their, or stages of their development. So it's really excited to hear all about the, uh, the innovation that's going on. And it's just a great event to be part of. All right. You guys, it's time. It's time. It's time. We're about to announce the winners of the startup pitch competition. OK, so just as a reminder, we have three winners. The first place winner gets $10,000 cash. All three of our winners will split a prize package that comes out to something in the neighborhood of $50,000. It's a bunch of services and it's executive coaching provided by Wayog and Grip. And it's very, very impactful, especially at the early stage for these startups to be able to get access to some of these prizes. So as a reminder, the judges picked two. They picked our first place and they picked our runner up. You all picked the audience choice to round out our three winners. So I will announce our runner up and our audience choice and then you guys will announce our first place winner so our runner up is impalo congratulations impalo come on up just you know stand here with us <laughs> thank you yeah you're amazing all right our audience choice is aura blue And the winner, according to the judges of the Female Founders Pitch Competition, is Far More. Congratulations. Would you like to say anything? Um, off the cuff. Sure. <laughs> um, I just want to say that 
this wouldn't be possible without the amazing students and postdocs I highlighted on my last slide. And so if anybody here is thinking about science, tech, engineering, please catch up with me after. I'm happy to talk to you about career paths, whether it's startups or not. Amazing. All right. All right. Our winners, you all. Thank you so much for coming.